there are two things that lead to results in your life. How many things, please? Two. two. One of them is energy. What is it, please? Energy. The second thing is execution. What is it, please? Execution. And that will lead to any level of results you desire to have in your life. So it's your energy that you show up in the world, you give to your workplace, you give to the team, you give to the clients, times your level of execution. Okay? That gives you your results. So you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. What's the scale, please? 1 to 10. One to ten. And some people like to use these different words. Being for energy and doing for execution. And that comes from my continued research of Robert Greenleaf, who kind of was the grandfather of servant leadership, servanthood leadership, which is basically cast the vision and then serve the people around you. Get out of their way, remove obstacles, give them the tools and resources, and let them do their job. That's awesome. Because he talked about just when you showed up, just your being had an influence on people. And Peter Drucker, the management guru of the last 30 years, said, you know what, if you don't do something, it doesn't matter. And he's spot on there too. But I said, you know what, success in, in life is both of those. You've got to have energy and you've got to have execution. And when you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, I work with a lot of people that go, well, I'm a level 7 energy, level 7 execution. Woo! Because 7 on a scale of 1 to 10 is above average. Two, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. So people are feeling good. What is 7 times 7? Does anybody in the room want to be a 49 on a scale of 100? <laughs> More often than not, the answer is no. But if you're bringing level 7 energy and level 7 execution, that's exactly why you're in the same place you've been at for a while in your life. And I'm not here to, to, to challenge you and say seven is bad. Oh, no, 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 no. If seven is the way of your world and you love that, be a seven. Be an awesome seven. Just know that you're only going to have 49 on a scale of 100 opportunities in your life. And that means promotions. That means opportunities. That means raises more often than not. And that's not just professionally, but it's personally too. Because, folks, I know that my wife doesn't deserve a 49 as a husband. I know my kids doesn't deserve a 49 in a dad. Anybody with me there? Yes. But until you challenge yourself to grow and learn and raise your level of energy, raise your level of execution, nothing's going to change. And so it's putting the work in by surrounding yourself with people that can help, surrounding yourself with books and growth. You know, when I ended college, I'm like, I'm never reading a book again. Anybody with me there? <laughs> right? I was with you, but then I read that book, Flight of the Buffalo, completely changed my outlook, and now, folks, I read about a book a week, every seven to ten days, sometimes longer, depending on my travel, because I know, folks, that, 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 that I'm doing my best to live a great life, but I also know that I have a lot to learn, and when I approach life that way from a humility standpoint, it's awesome. Because no matter what happens, no matter what lessons, no matter what feedback I get, I'm able to grow and learn from that versus get frustrated on that. And so on the energy times execution, I'll have people you know, that are awesome people that have a level 10 energy. They're awesome teammates. You know that list that you created? They're honest. They're friendly. They do all of that. I mean, you just surround them and you feel loved, right? And you guys come from an industry that that's kind of your core. That's, that's a lot of what you do because you have to do that, right? I mean, I come from a place that patients actually get healthier when they're surrounded by positive energy. Anybody with me there? Yeah. And folks, the cool thing is, is that science now is proving it. That it's not just positive energy guy spreading the message. <laughs> the scientists are proving it. That positive people live positive lives. They live longer lives. They have a bigger, bigger, better impact on their families, on their workplaces. That's the only way it happens is all of us doing our part. And so I'll have people that are level 10 energy, but then they're in a role, a three execution, and they're wondering why they're struggling in their life. It's because they're in the wrong job. They're not awesome at their job. They don't have the skills. They don't have the aptitude to be able to do that. So please, folks, find them another job, <laughs> right? Because they're good people. Find where they're going to be a superstar. <laughs> and then let them be a superstar. Seriously, because if not, if you're holding on to people, folks, just because they're nice people, I guarantee you, 
you're actually cheating them out of an opportunity to really feel a sense of pride that is, that is immense because they're awesome at what they do. Because the reality of life, that esteem for self, confidence in self, so self-esteem, you know, some people are like, that's a foo-foo word. No, it's not. Every day we need esteem for self in order to survive and live our life. Esteem for self only comes from you doing something incredibly difficult. Challenging yourself here and here to get better. Raising the standard. That's the only place that you feel better about yourself. Whereas most people sit back going, oh, I wonder why I don't feel good about myself. I've been watching four hours of TV. Why isn't that helping? Right? <laughs> I had a great conversation with my, boy, my boyfriend or girlfriend. Why isn't it helping? It's because you've got to put the work in. You've got to identify what you're awesome at. So a book called Good to Great from the, the mid-90s that just talked about the three things and two main things to, to make you be awesome at whatever it is. Be passionate about it. You have to be passionate. I mean, you come alive. Howard Thurman said one of the greatest quotes of all time. He said, don't ask the world what it needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people that are alive. That's awesome. Because when you're alive, folks, you inspire everybody else around you. Because they can see that you're passionate about it. And even when the tough days, you're still passionate about it. And the second thing Good to Great talks about is you've got to be great at it. If you'll never be a 9-10 in the role that you're in in your life, folks, start growing and learning yourself to put yourself in a position later on as you grow so that you can be a 9-10 because you deserve that. But some of you may not be in that role right now, and that's okay. Figure that out as you're going along. Are you guys up for that challenge? Okay, don't be too excited about that challenge. <laughs> because, folks, I do not want you to get to a point in your life where you're like, is this all there is? Les Brown, one of the greatest motivational speakers ever, said, you know what? Most people die at the age of 26, 36, 31, 40, and they don't get buried until 80. What he's saying is, is you die spiritually, you die emotionally, you die energy-wise, because you just keep going through the motions. Folks, I'm here to tell you, if you go through the motions, that's your choice. Because you have every opportunity to pick yourself up every single day and say, okay, how can I get better in energy? How can I get better in execution? And put it out there. See what happens. And when you build teams like that, it is amazing what happens. Because then all of a sudden, you got people 9-10 here, 9-10 there, and there is a ton of high fives going on, a ton of celebration going on because of that.